Hi there, Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your January 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, um, this is your um, love reading, but please do know that this is still going to be a general reading. I am going to be tuning in of what the energy in place are in for us for this month of January but do know that it may or may not resonate or make sense to any of you only you will know especially if you know you're watching this video at the like the end of January if it has really manifested for you so um yeah to to make a prediction specifically for you and for your situation you can do that by booking a session with me on my website in the stars by chrissy.com now without any further ado let's get on with the reading but before anything else i want to tell you guys that before i actually before i was doing this reading you know i dreamt at least two times about some form of like powerful energy and it has something to do with um with blood and death as a whole so and usually my dreams are you know has some form of premonition it could be something related to you or in general to the world but i kind of feel so much passion in that so much energy as well and and when i was tuning in and shuffling the cards before this spread that i'm working on for you guys i also pick up a lot of powerful energy with the sign of libra this is why i was telling you about that dream and i was also picking up a lot of um there were confusions with libras but there is going to be some form of clarity very soon and that will be very much illuminating in one way or another so i'm just saying this message out there for everyone just to put it out so um yeah um it could be for you it could be for someone else or i don't know but it's like a message that I need to say that there is some form of clarity going to be occurring for you very soon, which can really transform your life. So anyways, let's get on with the real reading for Libra. Now, ironically enough, uh, this is a very relationship type of reading as well so whoever i am tuning in right now relationship is really in focus for you we are getting here that you are at the point of you know maybe reflecting on a relationship thinking about a relationship we do have the two of cups and the six of pentacles over here so this is about balancing of a relationship but we also have the hangman and the world card over here so this makes me feel like this could be you thinking about the relationship it is possible that you are not in a relationship at this time especially with the hermit at your past with the temperance card so maybe something happened in your relationship there was a breakup and isolation of some sort but you are wanting to be in a relationship possibly or you're thinking about a relationship connection with a particular person in your life that maybe you want to restore and balance out because we do have a lot of past energies over here and at, in our future position we do have the six of cups as well but it is also along with the five of cups i tried to put a um reflection cards for the five of cups but i was not really picking up an energy on how this can manifest so i was thinking that this could be like a strong energy of looking to the past throughout the month of january that could be very strong it could be that you are wishing for something that has already ended 
or wishing of the past, there is so much emphasis about the past. I don't know why, but there is that. Also, you are now at the point where in, I kind of feel that for some of you guys, maybe you had a cold feet in the past, but right now it's saying here that you are ready. You are ready to move things forward with this person. So there's a lot of idealization happening here as well. So yeah, I'm really picking up that this could be like a singlehood energy or maybe someone who's still not over from the past and they're thinking about it and they're wondering if things can still work out between them. There is that form of energy here. We are getting here that one way or another, you are wanting for things to work out, but at the same time, you're also not sure. Not sure if you can trust that person again to be back in your life. And you don't know how to handle the situation if it does happen. If there is a reconciliation, you don't even know if you will want that relationship to work out again. So I kind of feel that, you know, that really complicates things because it gives me a feeling that you want this relationship, but at the same time, you don't. There is a feeling wherein you love and you hate the person at the same time, or you love the person, but you hesitate as well because of maybe trust issues or maybe there is some form of uncertainty that is brooding over your mind and maybe your heart as well. So there is an energy here wherein you are feeling stuck. Maybe you are showing the world how happy you are, but what I'm getting here is that you feel, you feel uh, isolated, you know, especially when you're alone you really feel all of these energies. You, f you show the world that you are okay, but at the same time, it feels that you're not okay. That kind of energy. I kind of feel though that there is something to look forward to in the future. It is showing me here that a lot of you are waiting. And for some of you, it could be waiting in vain. It feels like you're waiting in vain that kind of energy but with our outcome card with the page of swords and the three of pentacles over here it gives me that feeling we're in you know the three of pentacles is always a card of addition it's a card of working things out communicating some form of documents or so or you know it's like a teamwork team play cooperation that those kind of energies so the fact that we are getting here in our outcome card it's like telling us that there could be a reconciliation from the past wherein you might talk things out and find out some form of truth because we do have the page of swords right here there is a sense of being wary though, you know, it's not as if you are going to communicate someone and you'll be open again just like that. So I kind of feel that there is a bit of tension right there, but the fact that we are seeing the three of pentacles gives us some form of hope that there is something that we can resolve and there is something that can really work out during this time. And I really see that definitely manifesting in terms of a relationship as well. So, yeah, this is definitely, I know this is January and I want you guys to look forward to the past. I'm uh, sorry. I want you guys to look forward to the future, but the reading is showing me something to do with the past. On another aspect, this could be, you know, your soul is longing for probably a, a soulmate connection with someone from the past. It doesn't have to be a past person, literally. It could be, you know, you had a past life with this person and you are going to be reconnecting with them one way or another. 
this can also really manifest wherein you are maybe thinking about wanting to have a connection with a certain person that is a lot more fulfilling you don't want a relationship for the sake of having a relationship you really want that emotional bonding between the two of you and some form of honesty to build right there at the same time if you are in a relationship already at this time this could be a time we're in maybe there is something that you need to evaluate in terms of your current setup in a in your love life maybe you will find out something but you still don't know the whole picture and you don't know the entire truth of a certain scenario and this could be the month wherein you are going to find your way make your way to really get answers and find out the truth so that you know there is a re revealing revealing factor coming into place and this can set you free as well and can make you happier in the process of course I kind of feel that this month of January is like a, a breakthrough moment wherein something is about to happen and transform your life. And it's definitely a sign not to isolate yourself, but to actually communicate with someone, communicate with them, maybe making peace from your past, a past lover or a past connection that you have. There is definitely going to be some form of communication, and new beginning of some kind for some people there is going to be some form of communication that can be quite stressful there could be some form of sharp words um exchange between the two of you as a possibility but i just want you guys to know that you should never forget the fact that you should never forget the fact that this is all about cooperation. This is not about you demanding of what you want in a relationship. This is about the idea of how can we make things work out? How can we fix something? How can we, you know, um, construct something? You know, there, it's all about building, creating, those kinds of things. It's not about breaking things apart. It's not about ruining things. It's about creating a balance of harmony by working together. That, that is really the, the energy of there. So this is not a situation wherein only one person works it out. It is a situation wherein two parties are going to try and resolve a certain scenario, a certain situation. Now, this may not all be happening within the month of January, but the idea here that we are getting here is that this reading is telling you that there is something that you have to fix. There is something that you need to resolve and a clarity can come with that. So it could be happening as we end the January or maybe at the second half. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, that will be up to you and your or your own energy if I'm tuning in with you, basically. But we are definitely getting here some form of restoration of some kind. And I kind of feel that it, it kind of fits the reading with the reading with the dreams that I was having, because I kind of feel that with your past there's a lot of pain in the process i was seeing a lot of blood in their dreams so that could be something to do with disappointments at the same time it's always you know a trigger for change a trigger for some form of transformation that needs to change because maybe something has been very much strained out and you know it needs to be reformed basically it cannot be delayed anymore something has to be worked out so um yeah and the advice card that we have for you libras let me see for january 2020 libras what do libras have to know 
Okay, so this is a card of be gentle with yourself. So this is a point we're in. In each and every moment of your own action, your thoughts, and how you, you know, interact, communicate, and act to each other, always be gentle. And even with yourself, because I kind of feel that for some of you, maybe you're being so hard on yourself, you are so critical, or, you know, maybe some of you guys are being feeling hopeless feeling hopeless to a point wherein you're dragging yourself down more than you should remember we have this seven of pentacles and this you know hopes and fears so there is an energy wherein a part of you believes that there is hope in this relationship but the part of you feels that it is a hopeless scenario. It's like a hopeless case that nothing is ever going to be progressing. But at some point, you're still holding on. So this is a reading for those people that are still holding on to someone but don't know if things are still going to progress or not. There is that form of strong energy right there. So the, the advice here is to be gentle with yourself, to believe in yourself again. And, you know... um. If you cannot do anything about your situation at this time, you don't have to force to do anything because it is a worthless case if you are the only one going to make things work between the two of you. A relationship needs to be, you know, two people working with each other. So, and while waiting for the other person to be ready to work things out with you why don't you love yourself more why don't you focus on um, the attention all on yourself taking care of yourself loving yourself being gentle with yourself going to the spa because i kind of feel that you really need some form of relaxation happening as well because i kind of feel that you have been drained in a lot of areas of your life and again, like I mentioned earlier, there is going to be some form of clarity. Clarity, manifestation can be achieved. We also have here Neptune in Sagittarius in the seventh house of relationships. So this is clearly really telling us all about partnerships and relationships in general when it comes to our Confucians, we do have Neptune with our Confucians. Sagittarius is like the part wherein we are, you know, assuming things, maybe um, idealizing things a little bit too much, and not seeing things in a realistic manner. Or this could also be like an energy wherein we might just see something coming to light because Sagittarius is all about pursuing the truth those kinds of things maybe in a very dramatic way for some so this could be a very emotional month for you guys if that is the case but there is also like a strong manifestation energy here I really feel that this could be the month we're in we, we find clarity and illumination with partnerships and relationships that we have in general those kinds of things so release everything release all the guilt release all the negative experience that you have experienced with this partnership if you want things to work out don't focus on the negative and focus on what you want, you know? I kind of feel that this could be, you know, there could be a very complicated situation behind all this for the reason that you, you have this love and hate relationship. But I kind of feel that instead of focusing on, on the tiny details of things, I kind of feel that you, should need, you need to focus on what do you really want? Do you still want this relationship or not? I mean, just have that answer alone without thinking of the other details like he is such an ass, he is a playboy, he is uh, a jerk. You know, you don't need to think about those things at this time. 
without thinking about what that person did to you just think about what you think about that person right now just with them as a whole and not what they did to you if you still want that relationship to to come through and you know the positive happenings just focus on that and you might just see the manifestation happening for you in your relationship area as well so um yeah there is definitely you are basically going to achieve some form of inner peace with this especially as the month ends so um yeah this is quite of a positive reading very relationship focused and like a trigger to start a new cycle and a new beginning for you as you venture in with the year of 2020 so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me with this reading if you like a more personal reading with me you can do that by booking a session through my website in the stars by and i'll see you guys again next month